Time now again for Week in Review here on the Homelander Broadcasting Network. Thanks for joining us. We've got uh, quite a few things to share with you in this short time. Uh, with me is Ganem Hanna, and uh, Sheila is uh, out on assignment today. She will not be joining us until uh, next week's Christian Connections. So let's begin with the uh, sponsors of uh, the live broadcasts here on Sabbath on LLBN. From California, the Williams and the Langs. From Washington, the Tilstra family. And from North Carolina, uh, the Hansons. Thank you for your support. Uh, this is very important to take this message, especially on this uh, Sabbath day. Well, here's Ganem with the um, verse of the day. You have your Bibles ready? Then you better open them to uh, Romans uh, chapter 8. And what's the verse? Verse 28. All right, and it says, And we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. So why did you uh, choose to share that verse uh, with us today? Well, Marlon, I... Last Christian Connections, we talked about the Spirit of God that seems to bring everyone together into this project, to the project of the building project, that is, uh, to bring it to completion. And folks, I tell you, uh, and Marlon, as I looked at this verse, uh, again, if I may read it just one more time. Sure. And, and we know that God caused all things to work together. Well, that indeed was evident during the building project. The way God brought his people together to work in a harmony, I have never seen anything like it. It just seems to work that way whenever we are doing God's work. And then it says, and, and uh, together for good to those who love God, and definitely all those people who came in and did great things for LLBN certainly are men of God and who have done it because of their love uh, for God. And then continues to those who were called according to his purpose. It is clear in my mind, each and every one of these people was called in in the right time and the right <clears throat> moment according to God's timing. Uh, I am just at awe, astonished, how God helped us through this massive project that Folks, you have to understand, we are full-time employees outside of LLBN. We all have full-time jobs working for other institutions in the local area, in Loma Linda. LLBN is a volunteering ministry. And to have industry experts to come together in such harmony, not for money, not as a hobby, they've done it all their life, I'm not sure many of us want to do this again or wanted to do it for the last couple of years. And to see that harmony, I can't help to be astonished and at awe, Marlon, to realize through the power of God, these things, these people came together. And I think that should be a reminder to all of us believers that's possible through all conditions at home, at school, at work, in our neighborhoods, whatever the circle of life we're in, if we depend on God and trust in God, God would bring the right people in our lives. God will bring the right woman you're looking for to marry or the right husband, a woman looking for or to find the right job or to build a church community, a stronger and healthier church uh, and we can go through the list, Marlon. I think we all had our share of experience in life where you try so hard and things doesn't go according to your will, will or desire. But when, when it's blessed by God, it's amazing. It's phenomenal. So that's why I chose this verse, because what I have seen in my own eyes, the way God brought his people here, uh, it was just too overwhelming. So how big is this uh, crew you're talking about? Is it like hundreds or? <laughs> All right. Well, that, that's a great question. No, uh, we're talking about a dozen of people. Hmm. Uh, industry professionals, 
uh, some are juniors in this operation, but there was no ranking among all. There was no, uh, uh, the dozen we're talking about, Marlon, it's not, uh, 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 there's no, hey, I am more professional than you in this area versus this person and that person. There was no finger pointing. There was just harmonious relationship. Only God could have, only the Holy Spirit could have provided that. So God chooses his people. God brings his people and lead them where they need to be. And they may not be with us next week or next month, but God chose them for that day, for that task, for that moment. I say a day, it's more than a day, obviously. Well, that was going to be my next question. Are these people just transitory, brand new, coming in and out the door? Or have they been with you forever? I mean, I've known them. We've been around them. You know, we work with them in the industry. Uh, but uh, one thing they demonstrated, Marlon, the love to help, the, the love to serve. In part, we know they did it to help us because they knew how overwhelming the project mm -hmm. size is. Two, they wanted to make a difference in the life of this ministry. And three, they wanted to honor God through their skills. And, and so on all three fronts, nothing comes but our highest gratitude for their involvement. And, and it's not over. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of equipment. So we're not talking about the physical building construction. A lot of credit goes to Gabriel Isaiah, our contractor, mm -hmm who him and I worked hand in hand for a long time. And earlier this year, we started 2019. We went through 2020, 21. I'm sorry, we started in 2020, uh, 2021, then 2022. Uh, but in January of this year, another person joined us, Robert Ray Nielsen, who we became like a trio relationship. And it was just phenomenal how God helped us through this process. And then became the technology integration into this facility, mm -hmm. you know, 19,000 square feet, many facilities and sub-facilities, cable running, technology implementation, design, calibration. So, so it's, it's done and done according to God's way. Well, as long as we're on the talk, topic, let's talk about uh, the completion. You know, the, the walls are up, the roof is on, uh, the air conditioning is running. Um, but uh, the job really is not done. Correct. The technology component is not done. Uh, more equipment needed. We have equipment we haven't unpackaged yet, needs to be installed, but it's missing other components we don't have. Uh, we need to raise money for that. We need to raise money for the first three quarters of this year that it was kind of dry, and then there's more landscaping needs to be done on the outside, sign for the building. We don't have a sign, you know, electric signs, are costly and cost permits. So there are some things needs to be done. And uh, so hopefully that answered your question. Well, not exactly, because I think uh, we talk amongst ourselves okay. uh, an executive committee. And uh, I've, I've heard a million dollars, you know, passing around the room more than uh, once, more than once. Uh, and of course, you, you don't expect a million dollars for from an individual. The donation pattern of our viewers has been consistent, but it's not hundreds of thousands of dollars. No, no. I mean, there are a few trusts here and there, you know, comes every now and then in, in that magnitude, but, but the day-to-day -day operation, it comes in mm. uh, sometimes a dollar, tens, one hundreds, two thousand, five thousand, uh, up to twenty thousand, but collectively it all adds up. You'd be surprised how it adds up. But the million dollar, basically $350,000 approximately to cover up for the deficiency we have from first quarter of this year, you know, March, you know, I mean, January, February, March. And then there is another 300 some $50,000 needed to buy the remaining of technology needed or hardware to finish our technology implementation. Uh, and then the remaining balance needed to finish landscape, lighting us out, signage for the building. So, yeah, it's a million dollars that we're hoping and praying that we can raise by mm -hmm. mid of September of this year. We have every faith in our viewers who've been helping us. I have faith, and I've been praying about it, for new viewers to feel the call to support the ministry, to be part of our partnership with our other donors to help uh, uh, share this 
this responsibility. And uh, I have faith in God and his people. And, and as always before, Marlon, for 27 years, by the way, we are in our 27th year of broadcasting. And never once we missed a payment and we didn't meet our obligation. So I have faith. God has showed us it can be done and it will be done. Now, may I add one more thing? I sure. know we're short on time, and I'll be sensitive to the time. Take no, you off anytime time. you want. All right. Um, I'm about to sneeze, so I'm trying to control it. <laughs> uh, it's too humid here, <laughs> as you said earlier. So here, here's, here, here's the thing. This ministry is to honor God, and it's always been about honoring God. And I tell you, I have seen nothing but blessings in return, how God seems to fill in the gaps throughout this ministry, whatever it might have been, whether we needed people or personnel or legal issues or, or licensing or real estate, whatever it is, God seemed to always deliver at that time. And we have always been very, very frugal. As you know, you've been with us from the inception, Marlon. And if you didn't believe in it and support it, you probably wouldn't be here today. But you have your own love and reasons to support this ministry. And you've seen how frugal this operation. There's no waste. There's no travel expenses. There's no, no big salaries. We have only few employees we pay who are working on modest pay. Uh, they're family to us. Uh, but the rest of us, the bulk of the workforce, are volunteers. And volunteers, someone sounds like someone you don't know what you're doing. Our volunteers are professionals who come in to lay their skills, in my own analogy, on the altar before God mm. as an offering to honor him through their skills and work. And, and I praise God for that because I've seen lives change among our people. I have seen my life change over the years. And I hear a lot of stories of people, lives change in views of God over the years as a result of watching LLBN. Mm. Well, let's uh, move on in the final two minute, minutes of this uh, break. Uh, we've talked about the, the need for a uh, million dollars in broadcasting. Uh, we have uh, what's called a rule of thirds. Uh, you can take your screen and you divide it up into three strips and our titles are usually at the bottom of the screen while, where you see the address. It's called a lower third. And, you know, the million dollars doesn't have to be a million dollars today, but we'd like to have it a third at a time uh, to cover uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, expenses. The reason for that is, well, you know already, uh, the price of uh, food and gas and clothes and everything, uh, including power, uh, is getting like, like crazy. And it's crazy here, too. We have to pay those bills just like you do. Uh, so we're asking for you to dig deep and reach into your uh, uh, purses and, and help us out uh, during this time of wrap up so we can just hit the ground running uh, with this new operation. I mean, it's great to have a building, but you have to have something in the building to, uh, to make it happen. So uh, let's talk about just uh, the last Christian Connections just a minute. We had uh, Pastor Mark Etchell here for a really great message. Uh, this message was titled, uh, Looking Back, Looking Forward, and uh, also a great, great quartet. Little girls, 12 and 13 years old. Uh, they're called Blessed Quartet uh, from the Mentone Church. Uh, you're not going to want to miss it. Uh, next week, uh, Geller M.A. Borda and Dr. Gigi Novell with the music. So uh, be sure... Uh, to uh, join us uh, for that. Well, I think we just have time for one letter. Oh, hey, Marlon, do you have okay, it? Yeah, I got one right here. <laughs> We're dependent on Sheila usually to read that for us. Yeah, well, fortunate we have one. And it's from Aaron in uh, New Jersey. And he said, um, I like to start and end my day by watching LLBN. I'm blessed by the many spirit-filled programs Includes, please find my monthly gift. It's so great to know that I'm helping share this crucial gift with others. And, you know, that's the fact. You are television missionaries. Uh, how far a special prayer for yeah, I'll pray for him and for all our, and viewers. All our viewers. Yes. Uh, Heavenly Father who created heavens and earth, which 
all creations we know of is created by you. We, we ask you to pour your blessings on Aaron and continue showing him your way of guiding him to you, Father, and, and fulfilling him with the Holy Spirit as he continues to be a witness to you and, 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 and to bless his household and, and all that comes around him. I pray for all our donors and our viewers, Father, to strengthen us in faith, patience, kindness, and love toward one another, and to draw close, closer to your word. In your name we ask this. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us for this edition of Week in Review. We'll see you next time on LLBN. <laughs>